Hey, it's your boy Weasel, and we're back with some Minecraft. Um, this is Enrico because he's back because I left him behind. Um, just you know, right clicked him, and he sat there for days and days and days until I came and picked him up. Yup, Enrico's back. Um, on that note, I still don't have the names for these puppers because, well, first of all, I don't have a uh, name tag left. I don't know where I put the other name tag, but... Oh, that's a lot of cows. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to fish out some more name tags out of the ocean when I have some time in between uh, game sessions, recording sessions. But let me give you a quick tour of the things that I did. While you weren't watching. Yep, I've been uh, I've been a busy camper. I mean, we've been doing some mining down there. I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but I've been doing the two by one mine shafts, two blocks apart or three blocks apart from each other. And uh, yeah, look at all these diamonds. Oh yeah, picky. Picky is still there, and I repaired him, and um, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with him if I want to get like iron and uh, chest plates, if I want to get diamond or diamond leggings, um, if I want to invest that, or just keep them for the future when I need to uh, inevitably repair my tools again. Um, I did some reorganizing. I brought a lot of cobblestone up. As you can see, I've been starting to work on that. I also, I'm pretty sure that's new. Um, I should probably put some like cobblestone blocks in here. Um, yeah, check out my big old backpack. I don't even know if I uh, talked about how I like upgraded my backpack now that I have access to cows and therefore leather. Um, I did upgrade it, and it's really been helpful um, for me just building the uh, minecart tracks and whatnot. So down here is our little forge smelter area. Pretty much anything regarding metals or tools is going to be done down here with a little hatch to throw stuff away. Um, on that note, I should probably grab the stuff out of the furnace and put it over here. I needed to make a lot of rails because we built our minecart track that I talked about. Uh, you know, I did it in between episodes because that would have been super tedious. That's also where I found him again. But we're going to do a quick ride over to the village. Uh, and I will, in the meantime, also oh, talk about mods because some folks have been vocal about you know like how uh excuse me did i oh i must have accidentally abducted a villager i'm so sorry sir um i can't let you just leave though because you're just gonna get murdered <laughs> i accidentally must have abducted a uh, abducted a villager well uh that's awkward in the meantime hey you need to breathe because I need leather, because I need bookshelves, and for that I need books. Um, I also haven't really looked too closely at the village, so we're going to do that together um, and see if they maybe have a scribe or so. I, I know you can get them to become... Jesus, that's so much me mooing. Um, do you have another minecart with me by any chance? No, so we're going to have to get you out of there. Um, I'm just going to put a door here if uh, you don't mind. Wow. This is a horrible idea to put this cow farm over here. It's getting very crowded. I'm gonna have to do some calling. Anyways, so I'm gonna have to get you out of this. Excuse me? All right. Yeah, you, oh, right, you can open doors. That's awkward. What am I gonna do with you? Where are you going? Dude, where, are you going back to your village? Hey, uh, you, uh, you're not gonna survive if you do that. Ah, buddy. I mean, I can't really stop him, right? I might have to build him a house if he wants to hang out here, right? Are you following me now? Nope, okay, you know what? I'm not going to worry too much about that. Yep, we're not going to worry too much about that. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. He will he can fight on his own. He, he made it this far, he grew up and everything. All right, sorry. Uh, back to the minecart, let's just, um, he'll be fine. All right, we're gonna take a ride on a wild side towards our village, which also needs a name. I mean, it's pretty presumptuous of me to just, you know, give it a name. They might very well have one. I'm just like, no, we're naming it this because my comment section said so. I mean, that's what's happening. So yeah, as you can see, I built a lot of uh, track here and I found like a good number. I looked online and it seems like 
one to uh, 27 or 28 tracks. Pretty much keeps the card at uh, high speeds or at, at maximum speed. So that's how you can space them out. You place one and then you do 27 or 28 of those. Um, I went with 25 because it's fairly easy to do and just look at the block number and um, use that as a reference and not actually count because doing math is annoying. And yeah, that bend slows it down a little bit, but ultimately that's fine. It's a nice little ride over here. I ran into a creeper at one point and it was not pleasant. He was just on the tracks and there was nothing I could do. He blew up and that was that. I should probably secure these um, tracks one way or another. Anyways, um, so I've been also working on the village. Um, I want to put up walls. I want to make it a little bit more secure and build it up. I know it's probably not necessary. Also, that was where the creeper exploded. Um, it's probably not necessary, but I just like the idea of us putting work into the village. Um, that's not going to happen anytime soon. That's something I'm probably going to work on in between episodes. Also, mods. I said I would talk about mods. The mods that I'm installing into Minecraft. Yes, it's not vanilla anymore. Like this, like, backpack. Yeah, that's not very vanilla. But it makes my life easier. It doesn't change... <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't change um, basic mechanics in Minecraft. It just allows me to carry around more stuff and not having to run back and forth so many times, especially when you do bigger projects like this. Um, then it doesn't take forever. So that's that's my idea. Same with the recipe book. It doesn't add any recipes. It doesn't change the way that you have to cook things. It just allows for easier handling. It's like installing um, the JEI uh, mod to show you recipes, I guess. Yes, it changes balancing a little bit, um, the backpack, because, again, yeah, you can run back and forth and carry a ton of stuff, but ultimately it would be, I feel, more of a problem if other players would be affected by that. Um, I leveled up my apprent uh, my Fletcher a little bit, so I sold a bunch of sticks for some um, emeralds, but I have not really an interest in trading right now. I Oops. Ouch. I built this little house over here, which I'm also going to encapsulate... Um, so it's becoming like a house slash uh, minecart station. So we hopefully don't abduct any more villagers. That was that was unfortunate. Didn't even realize that that happened. Oh, don't walk into it. Please don't walk into it. Okay, cool. Hey, invisible trader. He he always turns invisible. It's super weird. Um, brain coral block and packed eyes. I have no interest in either of those, but good to know. So yeah, this is what we're going to eventually work on to just adding to it. I'm trying to incorporate other blocks into my designs to, you know, make it look all a little bit nicer because let's be honest, just building everything in a block, yeah, is so it's so 2010, I guess, or whenever Minecraft came out. Ooh, it's a cat. Do I have fish with me? I should get some fish. I can I can I can do some fishing because I want a cat for creepers. Thanks for that tip. Um I want a cat. But how do I get the cat then to come over? I will have to walk back with it, I guess. Anyway. Also, why are you stuck in there again? You weirdos. Anyways. So yeah, I've been like starting to take down some trees because I'd like to fortify this village. Because, yeah, I don't want any of my villagers to die. I don't know how you can improve or like build up a village. Um, I know you can put tools down or farming plots and such. And then they will use them. Like if you build a, a lectern, I think somebody that doesn't have a job might just pick it up, right? Um, lectern requires a bookshelf and a bunch of slaps. Maybe there's already someone here that does such um, things. Yeah, you just you just have a good night's sleep, sir. Don't mind me just coming into your house and looking around. Um, perfect. What is that? Oh, sorry. That's... I don't understand. What is this block? What is what is this? What is this block? What are you? Anyway, that's a interesting looking table. All right. Ooh, flint. You know what I can do with this flint? Sell it to him for emeralds. It's nighttime. Let's get some sleep. I don't want to like fight creepers and monsters, and I don't want them to uh, cause any damage to here. So we're just gonna sleep out in the open, and everything's fine. Problem solved without resetting my spawn point. 
wonderful. Um, I, I'd also like to like just you know fix up the roads a little bit, that kind of stuff. I want to turn this into a cool little town. I also want to build an underground house uh, underwater. Now, what is it with? Why do you do this? Oh, butcher. Interesting. 14 raw chicken for an emerald. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Seems a little... And then one for a rabbit stew. Hmm. Oh, rabbit stew looks good. Get ourselves the smoker here. Yeah, I've been here before. Close this up. Uh, uh, am I gonna... Yes, I'm gonna steal those. Absolutely, I'm gonna steal those emeralds. No doubt about that. All uh, right, very good. Let's keep going a little bit. Is there more structures over here? Well, there's... Well, hello there, sir. You're missing some skin on your bones. Oh, just two shots? Huh. Can you headshot in Minecraft? Probably. I know there's hitboxes to a degree, I think. Is there? Man, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I guess this path doesn't lead anywhere. It's just the end of the road. Out. Son of a... Silly bushes. Silly berry bushes. Alright uh, then. I've also been looking into like um automatic mining, I guess. Um farming. Huh? You're such a butcher looking dude. Right, is it, I wonder if he has like just huh. guts around his head. Just imagine like some intestines just wrapped around his head. That's how hardcore this butcher is. So I guess, yeah, this house is uh wait, is there two entrances? Intriguing. Intriguing. Um anyways. So yeah, that's that's one of my plans that I might just work on in between and then show you the progress because it would be pretty tedious of me just taking down um, trees and such. Huh. I wish you would make some more noises. You say, huh, too many times for my liking. But yeah, I don't see any um, lecterns, bookshelves or anything that I could just um, borrow, if you know what I mean. But now that we have leather... I'm not too concerned about the lack of that. Um, any more houses here or is this? Nope, this is just just more tracks, um, paths. That's fine. All right then. So, what to do now? Well, how about we have a quick visit in this little uh, mine shaft or underground entrance that I've built. Um, you know, when I'm here, I might as well also do some mining because if I need some iron, hey, this is, this is a good place to then just keep looking for that stuff. And uh, yeah, I've uh, gotten a little bit of iron out because I needed to make a minecart because I <laughs> was here and then like, oh damn, I can't make a minecart. Plenty of creepers, some zombies, and well, a bunch of this stuff. I think exploring this chasm will be pretty neat. And I think that's a thing I should consider doing. Hey there. Pew. Gotta put up some uh, torches. And down he goes. Poof. Hey, guys. <laughs> That's very enjoyable, I gotta say. Yeah, I guess. That'll do. All right. Uh, we have plenty of slabs uh, due to me. Oops. <laughs> due to me chopping down plenty of trees. And I will be uh, chopping down more because it makes... Um, Son of a gun, I just keep messing this up uh, since it's going to make me uh, make it easier for me to fortify the village um, in the future. Um, I'd like to just turn this into like kind of like a bustling town, if you know what I mean. You, you, you can't imagine it. I know you, you're creative. All right, let's put some torches in here. Throw that stuff up. Perfect. Perfect. Give me. Um. <laughs> Don't don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. All right. I'm amazed that I still haven't like fallen into lava with all of my stuff. That would really suck. That's I guess one of the problems that you have with the backpack. That's the downside. Imagine you lose that backpack with all of that stuff in here. That would really really blow, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I guess that is the um the price you pay for having all of the stuff with you, you can also lose it very much. So I don't really feel that it makes that big of a difference um, for, I guess, balance reasons, um, if you want to call it that. Okay, we're just making this like pathway a little bit longer, a little less dangerous, and I guess, yeah, this could be the way over. Look at all that good XP down there. Talking about XP, I have plenty of uh, levels. 
I want to say there's a way to put XP into a tome so you don't lose it. I mean, I guess I could um, enchant a book and then use that and um, that way reduce my levels a little bit. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? That'd be the smart thing to do. Anyways, um, that should help with uh, monsters spawning over here, at least for the time being. We're going to go over on the other side and do essentially the same thing. I have so many slabs, or at least so much wood with me. Um, I could also just use some cobblestone. Um, don't, don't need to be wasting all of those slabs. So, there you go. It should be enough for now. It's going <clears> to <throat> widen the path um, rather than using wood, I guess. Ooh, ooh, I can hear some music. Very, Don't throw those away. Uh, I can hear some music. Very quiet in the background. It's finally happening, guys. Music is back. Okay, I'm just gonna take those back and... Son of a gun. And they're all gone. <laughs> uh, that's just me being... Gooby goofer. Alright. So... There's some more iron. I'm not gonna grab that just yet. Okay, I have to straighten this out, otherwise it will drive me crazy. Yeah, that's better. Okay, sorry. I, I get so distracted by this stuff. All right, now that we have some blocks, we're going to be making use of those to expand the walkway. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to just mine this stuff out and put torches down. Um, underneath of my base, remember the big room that I was showing you that I mined out? Um... Yeah, I removed like all light sources and I just go down there when I want to farm some uh, XP from some mobs. It's not really a mob farm because it's just a big empty cavern. I'll show you when we're back. But yeah, that's a thing that I did that just came to mind. Wonderful. Where do I put my torches? Over here. I don't need gunpowder right now. So I think we should build a little... I see some iron over there. Yeah, what are you looking at? So carefully... Mm, wood slabs? No wood slabs. Yes, wood slabs. I feel. Are a good idea. Just for looks and aesthetics. I mean, it's a little bridge kind of situation. So... Um, oh, hey, yeah, we have some oak slabs with us. So that'll, that'll, that'll do just to make our way over. Ow. Ow. Son of a gun. All right, there you go. That's better. Somewhat. Cool. Uh, torch over here. And can I reach this other area? Eh, not that easily, so let's just... That's the Eric Weasel. You got to use a shovel for that. Otherwise, your comment section is going to yell at you that you're damaging your tools. I won't let anything happen to you, Picky. Not my trusty pickaxe. My enchanted little unbreaking one pickaxe. I know. Not not impressive at all. We should we should get into the whole bookshelf situation over on our base now that we have cows. I'm also making sure that I'm looking around to see if I can like maybe spot some uh diamond. Uh, you guys actually have better eyes than I do. I remember you seeing that diamond in the underground mine shaft. I still haven't been there. Uh, to pick that diamond up. But, yeah, I know you pointed it out. I was like, is that diamond? I was like, yes, it is. It is. And I totally missed it. Ooh, okay. I'm going to grab that iron while I'm here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. It's very upsetting that I'm over here. Live and let live, dude. I need, I need this stuff. I need my iron. I don't want to be Minecraft anemic and not have iron. So supposedly there's, I, I've seen there's like iron farms and I don't understand how those work. It seems like iron shouldn't be a material you can just infinitely generate, but there seems to be ways. Okay, I see more iron down there. It's not worth going down there right now. And let's just throw up a torch over here. Reduce the amount of spawn. I mean, not too concerned. Just something to keep in mind. Oh, hey there. Maybe I will go over there real quick. I mean, I'm so close to it, I might as well. 
do that. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need to murder you. Or is it murder if someone's already undead? Because he's, you know, you can't you can't really kill him. You you end his existence. But if you're undead, is it murder? That's a good question. Or is it? Or ah, uh, let's not let's not get into the technicalities of what kind of crime it is. I think that would get weird very fast. Um, do I have some more slaps? Yeah, not really. Not, not really. That's okay. Give me that back. Let me put those few over here. All right, that'll do. Mmm, rotten flesh, my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna go grab this iron while I'm here, and then I think I'll be making my way back to home base. But I hope that gave you an idea what I've been up to in between episodes. And I'm going to try to get some stuff in between. Uh, get some stuff done in between. Essentially, like, start hinting at it for you guys. Like, oh, hey, this is what we found. Or this is what I'm intending to do. And then maybe do the first few steps. And finishing it off sometimes um, off camera. Not all the times. I mean, I still <laughs> want to do a series. And I don't want to, like, do tons of... Ah, yeah, you're angry. Great, you're going to attack me now because you can teleport, you son of a gun. That's what I get for looking at you. Ooh, you're upset? You're an angry boy? Well, come and fight. Oh, wait a second. If he comes up here and hits me at the wrong moment, I'm going to be in so much trouble. How did you spawn there? I, oh, yeah, right. Tor what was it? Torches don't do anything to um, keep creepers away. You need the cats? Yeah, cats. Oh, well. Okay. Wonderful. It's nighttime. My favorite. Let's get some sleep. Gonna sleep here. Yup, 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 yup. You're all... This, oh, this... Ow! This is very upsetting. Ow! Would you... Son of a gun. Go away. Please. I really don't have the nerves. Just because you're a very salty skeleton doesn't mean I have to put up with this. Alright. Sleeping bag, please. Perfect. Oh yeah, and the fast leaf uh, fall or the spawn mod. I think, you know, if I was just playing by myself, it wouldn't bother me as much. But if I want to get some stuff done, it's just so much faster because I can see when a tree is like, you know, fully removed or if I missed something. Uh, it's those small changes. Oh good, oh good. Hey, look who we have here, Mr. Creeper. Mr. Creeper, bring me a dream. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we're gonna make our way uh, back over. Should I bring something with me? No. 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 I don't know how to catch a cat. No clue. I'll have to look into that. All right. Off we go to infinity and beyond. Or just, you know, to my home base. Potato, potato. I wonder if the villager is still here. I mean, or, you know, if the villager is still near home base. Or if he's making his way back all the way back to his village. Which I think is a questionable idea. Don't worry, I'll come for you in a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some more room. I also want to expand this. This is not enough room for these cows. Sure, it makes breeding easier, but also I feel it's, it's, it's just not right. We're going to move these guys somewhere over here, like a big old cow farm with maybe a little uh, building. I would like that. You know, just like a little uh, barn, essentially. It's a very climate weather over here, so it should be fine. Horsey make horse face! Yes, that's gonna be your name. You're... I'm gonna have to bring you over to my... Uh, I don't know why you ended up in the water, um, but I can't keep ignoring that. And off you go. I wonder if there's a way... There's probably a way to tie the horse down um, at a spot. You need also, like, a little shelter of sorts. Oh, I gotta have to farm all of this stuff. 
For those, I would like some beehives. I would like to find some beehives and then put them up near the water and then make them go to flowers, which I will plant over here. So they will pollinate stuff and that makes it grow faster. Not that time is of the essence and I need to get stuff done super fast. Um, but I think it's a really cool mechanic that bees actually speed up um, flower growing, which is super neat. Um, and I like bees a lot. Bees are like one of my favorite insects. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Thanks for waiting for me. Didn't want to lose you while I uh, went over to the other place. Okay, so underwater house. This is this is the thing that we're going to have to um, seriously look at. Um, and the question is, how far out should it be? Like, just somewhere out in, in the middle of nowhere? Or should it be fairly close and be connected to the base? I kind of feel it shouldn't be too far away. And, hmm, you know what? This area might be idea. Oh yeah, it goes down fairly far. This is, I think, the um, spot that we found that goes into our mine um, shaft. Remember how I said, like, oh yeah, this is where it's um, where all the water is. Hmm. <laughs> this is a cool kelp forest and whatnot, but. I kind of... Ooh, wait a second. You know what? This would be a fairly neat spot just on this hillside. It's not too far away. It's still uh, far enough under the surface. Hmm, I like this. Building like a like a glass dome down here. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I'll need the potion of swimming underwater or whatever it's called. To d Okay, okay, okay. I'm, go I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up. I was just goofing around. It's not super far in the... In the um, in the in the ocean, but I kind of kind of dig it here. I kind of uh, like the idea of like slowly expanding outwards rather than building a completely um, separate base from this. The other uh, thing to consider would be if we found like an ancient ruin underwater uh, to check it out there. Anyway, best thing I can do is make myself a potion of underwater breathing. I don't exactly recall how that works out, but uh, I'm pretty sure I need a puffer fish for that. Yes, very good. God, I have so much junk in my inventory that I need to clear out that I really don't need right now. I don't need, I don't need that hoe with me. I don't need multiple axes. I'll get them back eventually. All right. So, brewing stand, glowstone dust. Yep, 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 yep. Just for the regular potions. Um. I guess we can make that over here, put the puffer fish in, and give me some awkward potions. And that should do it, right? Just puffer fish, awkward potion. I don't know if you need more for, I mean, what you need for the next step. Because I'm pretty sure this will give us three underwater breathing potions, but there's underwater breathing too. I should look that up and just find it out. Potion of water breathing, three minutes. Very cool. Okay, I had a look. It's redstone. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just going to need some redstone and our potions, and that will do the trick. All right, let's put the redstone here, put the potions of water breathing here, and that should bring them up to eight-minute potions, if I'm not completely mistaken or the internet is lying to me, but who would do that? Who would lie on the internet? Outrageous concept. Um, one thing that I like about the backpack is if you have like a bigger construction project um, or you're just there and like, oh, I want to build this thing real quick. You don't have to like run back to your base to get all the materials and sort that out. You can just have like essentially like a base assortment of stuff. Like, oh, I always have some cobblestone stairs with me if I want to build a path up or just, you know, I just keep wood with me so I don't even have to run back for this kind of stuff. I really like the backpack for that because it's... I like to imagine it's just like a big chest that I'm carrying on my back. So it's not too outrageous. It just makes my life easier and, you know, faster. And I'm just having more fun with it, which ultimately matters. Look at that! Eight minute underwater breathing. We should be looking at those underwater um, treasures. I really want to do that. I will probably start... Um, with the house in the next episode, and I will um, consider going to um, one of those underwater um, places. 
that we see um, with the glowing stuff that I guess indicate where we are. Yeah, I think that that sounds like a reasonable idea. There's so many things in this game. Like I know I'm not I'm not saying anything new to you guys, but there's so many things in this game that you can do. It's really just I can see why people get really so into this because like oh there's there's this thing that I could do. Wait, I could also do this thing, which makes it so difficult to like focus on something in this. And I'm really sorry that I'm all over the place. And I mean, this episode, we didn't do a whole lot other than make the potions. And I showed you the village and we went a little bit mining. But there's just so many things that I have the hardest time picking. Just, just picking stuff is hard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Ow. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, yeah, you, you know, you do it. You 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 hit, you 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 press that like button. I mean, if you have that second. If you don't have a second, that's fine. If you didn't like it, that's fine too. I I know some of you sometimes don't like the episode. That's fine too. You can't hit that dislike button. I don't take it personal. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, don't or hit the dislike button. Whatever the case might be, I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!